Okay, so you've seen stickers plastered on the windscreens of Jimmy's Jeeps and monster trucks around town. Nigel Wilmot is the brain behind Wilmot Sports, and the monster truck is on the Venus wishboard, mm -hmm. which you saw earlier. So we're gonna, Wilmot, uh, Nigel yeah. and I are going to walk it through. Okay. Because, you know, right. I mean, he taught me some things off here, and I'm kind of like an expert now. Yep. So. <laughs> not even okay. close, not even close. Yeah. Nigel, morning, welcome. Good morning, thanks for having me. Everything motorsports, you're the man that people call. We had a conversation, you don't watch TV, your life is motorsports. <laughs> yes, I Why? live at the garage. Why motorsports? Um, I could say I didn't choose motorsports, motorsports chose me, but no, I won't say that. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know where it came from, probably my dad. I know my dad um, liked cars, but at some point growing up, I got um, attracted to cars and uh, I started with my first car it was a, a 1981 Toyota Corolla which I the very first day I bought it took it home lowered it um, changed the seats and started customizing it I'm still surprised at how I did all the things I did back then um, and then I was into cars for a while. I got into dirt bikes and probably about eight, eight years or so ago, yeah. I got into off-roading. Because you have no formal training. Um, no, it's self no, it's all self-taught. Yeah, how, how did that happen? Uh, maybe I'm good with my hands. Um, as a kid, I did a lot of pulling down and tearing apart and putting back together. I think that is probably the basis of me being able to, you know, work on the stuff myself. Davina, monster trucks, why? Um, I don't know, they're aggressive, they're, I mean, you can take them anywhere, uh, they stand out and that's kind of how I am. Uh, so I think I aligned myself with them from a long time ago. I just, I, I just love them, they're just big, they, they take over the road and that's how I am. Oftentimes, um, Daisy, you, you don't see women in... That's, that's true, yeah, yeah that's, that's true, but I'm a different kind of woman, <laughs> so... Nigel, um, yes. mounting this machine, um, it's not an easy task. I tried it on myself this morning. Um, there is a little bit of a, uh, of a technique to it, um, but I can walk. Yeah, yeah I can, can walk. Let us okay. walk her to it because yes. I'm an expert. And... Okay, so this one is particularly high. Yes. But um, <laughs> for example, you have a roll bar here. Yeah. First thing you want to do is hold on to the bar. Mm -hmm. You put a leg up. Yeah. You have a leg, right or left. Mm -hmm. You pull yourself up, and there you go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all in. Now, this truck has a lot of modifications. Okay. So we'll start by basic stuff. Yeah. It has a roll cage. Okay. If you're up into the hills, on the trails, yeah. and you have some form of mishap and happen to roll <laughs> over, this will protect you and prevent okay. the vehicle from caving in on you. Okay. So this is very important to have. It's not a must have for off-road vehicles, but this is an extreme truck. Okay. Because I was um, going to ask, you know, will you drive something like this? Where, yeah, will you, where, you where, where did you make a drive this car? Well, I drove it here. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it goes um, through the potholes nicely. I, literally, when I see potholes, I get on the accelerator <laughs> and the fun begins there. So I don't have to worry about um, tires, front end, braking, marine, stuff like that because of the setup of this truck. Um, it has the typical four-wheel drive setup. This one is not that typical, however. It has a twin stick. Um, you can select front and rear. Um, for example, you get um, in slippery surfaces. Generally, uh, uh, any four by four. And there's a difference between all-wheel drive and four yeah, by I was, four. I was gonna ask, because <laughs> I really don't know the difference. All right. Cars, cars. <laughs> four by four is selectable. Um, for example, you can drive in regular two wheels power in the car. If you get off-road, then you can now select and have four wheels. So All-wheel drive is permanent um, and not as capable as a four-wheel drive system. Do you need like a special license to drive this? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's true. We'll grant her one. We'll test her Thank and grant you. her one. Okay. Um, but yeah, you have your four-wheel drive system. Um, once you get off-road and you think you might need to engage four-wheel drive because of slippery surfaces, you'd normally Select it here. I mean, I'll go through this, but this one is a little bit more technical because it has two sticks. Generally, you'd have one, and you can go four high if you're going at moderately high speeds, but you want full traction. Mm -hmm. Or you go four low if it's extremely slippery surfaces and you have to crawl through a muddy patch or if you're on the beach. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, you drive yeah, out yeah. to the yeah, beach. Man, just, yeah, just put the foot on yeah. the thing and just yeah, step back and, yeah. and you turn yeah. and drive. And it just moves. Yeah. It just does the things. <laughs> Words from the experts. Um, is a truck like this made for women? 
Well, nowadays, I think women would like to yeah. think everything is made for them and they can do anything men can do. Right, Devin? Yeah. Mo well, most things. <laughs> but um, okay. yes, it's, it's um, I realize nowadays women like big vehicles. It offers more protection. Um, they feel more confident. Um, they have more space. They can, you know, in terms of potholes and stuff, the SUVs handle the roads better. So women are getting more into this kind of thing. Probably not as extreme as this, but... What's so special about this vehicle? Is there anything special? Okay, this is built as a competition vehicle. Um, it has, for example, the roll bar. It has um, customized drivetrain, axles, the wheels. Everything on this vehicle is fully built for competition purposes and going off-road up into the hills. And it's more of an exhibition truck. So, for example, a typical 4x4, I do excursions, off-road excursions. And say, uh, Suzuki Jimny, a Prado, uh, Toyota Tacoma pickup, what you do is you try to get the suspension, suspension a little higher. So we raise the suspension so you have more clearance underneath so you don't have rocks breaking everything under there. So you raise the suspension, you get um, off-road tires to be able to, to uh, maneuver the slippery surfaces. Okay. But a typical off-roader doesn't need all of this stuff. You know? Right. Well, one of these days we're going to go and that's an excursion. Yeah, man, we, we can arrange that. Yeah. Well, thank you, Nigel. Um, where can people find you? Quickly. I'm at 93 Canton Spring Road, um, all over social media. Instagram, Will Motorsports, and um, on Facebook as Ricardo Wilmot. Don't ask why. Yeah, you heard that. <laughs> Nigel Wilmot of Will Motorsports. Um, we'll be right back. <laughs> If you can't stop it, just us. Yeah. Sit back on me and watch time pass up. What's that? All the big Benz blast up. Tell Wolf and Sheep, look at the mask up. Me no Kevin Hart, but me have the last lap. Yeah. Now you see me all big with the grass up. Straight cake, pop the champagne cock up. I'm waiting for me get to spend a hundred G fast fast. Me can't bother with the small talk. Listen, listen. At the top, it's just us. 